Hello, in this video, I'm going to guide you through Ordva Dhanurasana wheel pose, getting in and out of the shape, as well as some modifications that you can do when this shape is in a class, if you're not yet ready to go into wheel or if you're just working up towards it. So wheel is a deep back bend shape, which means that the strength of the posture is going to come from the hamstring, the buttock, and the lower back, and you're need, going to need to have broad open uh, chest, so pulling the shoulders back and opening your chest there. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with bridge, which is a great build-up posture for wheel, and you're, you'll often see this uh, bridge shape in classes coming before wheel because it sets things up. It sets the body up for the wheel shape. So to come into bridge, you're going to lie on your back, bring your heels in close to your buttock, and you want them about as wide as your hip. Bring your arms alongside your body and use your arms as tools for strength in the shape. It will also help to open and build strength in the shoulders. So begin by driving into your heels, lifting your hips up. This is a basic version of bridge. So you're just driving through your heels, squeezing the buttock and driving your hips up towards the sky, driving the backs of your palms into the ground to use them as levers for more depth. You can intensify this bridge shape to work towards building more strength to get to your wheel. And there's various ways that you can do that. So you can come up onto your toes. It lifts your hips up a little bit higher. You can interlace your fingers behind you and it pulls your shoulders back. So it will also help with wheel in opening your chest and your shoulders, squeezing the palms together to open the shoulders more and drive the pinkies down. So this is one modification or intensification. You can also come up onto your toes here in this shape. And you can also start lifting one leg here and then the other. And that's just gonna continue to build strength in the buttock. And you can lift one leg without the legs, without the hands bound. You can lift one leg being up on the toe. The purpose of the bridge shape is just to build lots of strength all along the back of the body, which are the muscles that are going to do the work in wheel. So our next modification um, to play with wheel is a tabletop shape. So to get into that shape, you want your palms maybe a little bit wider than your shoulders, just like they would be in wheel, fingertips pointing towards the body. Feet are about as wide as your hips, so you just want to build a good base here for the tabletop shape. Then you're going to drive into your heels and your palms and lift your hips up. Keep your head in line with your spine. Don't let your head drop back. Keep it in line with the spine. So again, palms a little bit wider than shoulders, so you have a good base. And the strength here is coming from the heel, you know, driving in through the heels, squeezing the buttock, the hamstrings, the lower back. And you're working towards bringing your torso parallel to the ground, driving your hips up to the sky. And again, you're getting that shoulder opening that will help you in bridge. So really driving through the palms, opening the chest and gazing up. So this would be your next modification for wheel. And now let's play with going into wheel. You're going to be on your back, just like in bridge. And now we want to bring the heels in really close to the body. And so I find that it helps to draw the knees in towards the chest and just flex the ankles, softening up your shins, just op opening things up. And then from here, reach and grab for your ankles. And then pull your feet in as close as you can to your hips. And you want to set them wider than your hip because you're thinking of building just like a broad base for your shape. So drive into the heels to lock the feet in place. And then bring your hands alongside your shoulders. So you need the palms to be as close towards the shoulder head, fingers pointing towards the body, as close to the shoulder head as you can. I see people often with the palms up here at the top of the head. You'll really struggle with getting a lift here because you don't have the leverage of the shoulder. So trying to get your hands in as close towards the shoulder head as you can. And then we'll play with getting into the shape. So you can start with working on palms here, then driving into the heels, lifting the hips just like you did in bridge, becoming comfortable with your hand placement, and finding power in the shape. Now from here, when you feel ready, you can press into the palm and you can lower down. This is a good way to work into wheel when you're in class. So lifting and lowering. 
And then when you feel ready and you lift it and you feel good with that, bring the top of the head to the ground. And now I'm not resting my weight in the top of the head. I'm using my hands to keep me upright and using the strength of my hands and my shoulders to keep me here. I'm just finding a, a lower point to kind of find the shape. And then tuck the chin and lower down. And so when you're ready to come all the way up into the wheel shape, you're going to drive into the heels, lift the hips just like you did in bridge, drive into the palms and press up, maybe coming to the top of the head first and then pressing all the way up into the shape, letting the head fall down and back. See, your chest is broad and open and you're wanting to resist coming into the toes. If you come into the toe, your knees are going to shift away and you're going to find it difficult to find strength into the shoulders. So driving through the heel, using the strength of the buttock, driving the hips up to the sky, and then you keep your palms directly under the shoulder, and then you can feel the strength coming from the shoulder to keep you into the space. Try to relax your thoughts in the shape and make sure that you breathe here. Don't hold your breath. Continue to drive into your heels, squeezing your buttock and pressing your hips up to the sky. And when we're ready to come out, tuck your chin to your chest and lower down into the tops of your shoulders. And then slowly lower the spine down. Draw your knees into your chest. Flex a little bit. And breathe. 